Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest reports from ANI, the Defense Equation Council meeting led by Defense Minister Sri Rajnath Singh is scheduled to take up the deal for acquiring MQ-9 Reaper armed drones from US to begin at 10 am today. The top defense ministry and military brass is to attend the meeting. Other made in India defense deals are also on the agenda of the meeting. Earlier, it was reported that the number of MQ-9 RPAs was pruned to 18. However, ANI has reported that now India is expected to go ahead with original plan of acquisition of 30 RPAs with 10 for each services. The MQ-9 RPAs have various version and the one India is planning to acquire is going to be the armed version. Now let's try to understand the capabilities of MQ-9 Reaper or Predator B RPAs. The main objective of MQ-9B is to perform multi-mission intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance over land or sea. It features triple redundant flight control system and redundant flight control surfaces. It uses C-band as line of sight data link control and KU-band beyond line of sight SATCOM data link control. The RPA has impressive over 90% operational availability and it can be transported by a C-130 transport aircrafts operated by Indian Air Force. The RPA is powered by Honeywell TPE-33110 engine. A variant of this engine which is TPE-33112B powers the HTT-40 training aircraft built by HAL. The MQ-9B has gross takeoff weight of 4,763 kg and payload capacity of 386 internally and 1,361 kg externally. It can carry various types of ISR payloads such as EOIR sensors, Lynx multi-mode radar, multi-mode maritime radar, automated identification system, signal intelligence or electronic support measure systems and communication relays. It has seven hardpoints and can carry up to four AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground missiles or four Hellfire missiles and two 500-pound laser-guided bombs. The 500-pound GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition or JDAM can also be carried. Depending on the mission requirements, the MQ-9 Reaper can carry multiple AIM-9X Block II missiles as well. The RPA has max flight altitude of 50,000 feet, endurance of 27 hours and speed of 240 ktas that is not true airspeed. The not true airspeed tells how fast the plane is moving relative to the air around it. India has also negotiated for local assembly of MQ-9 RPAs. The Indian Navy chief has told that at least 60% of the quantity of aircraft proposed for procurement in India will be manufactured in India. For local manufacturing, General Atomics has partnered with Bharat Porch to produce main landing gear components, sub-assemblies and assemblies of RPA. As a part of MQ-9 deal, India is also looking for transfer of certain niche technology for DRDO required for indigenous design and development of hail rps this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector